and we are live just only on twitch not sure why youtube's down but nothing i can do about it now i'll try to fix it before the next stream and ooh, that is loud in my ears i've been looking forward to this game although i'm aware it's definitely heavier than my usual type but i've heard good things about it I do indeed have headphones on. Let's see. And not gonna go all the way. I think that's the right brightness for that. Now let me just check. Combat difficulty auto, don't need photo mode. Let's see. I'm going to do subtitles on because honestly. I want to make sure I can hear what's actually said. I turn the music and sound effects down just a little bit. That should be good. What are the options? Yeah, we'll stick with auto. All right. Let's see. Before I start up, you still with me, wizard? Hoping that my disconnecting and reconnecting did not break something. Uh, check and make sure this is running right. Blade feature is, but I might hold off. All right, then here we go. Gotta say, I was a fan of Enslaved, so I'm eager to see what's gonna happen here. <laughs> Hello. Who are you? Doesn't matter. Welcome. Safe with me. I'll be right here, nice and close, so I can speak without alerting the others. Let me tell you about Senna. Now her story has already come to an end, but now it begins anew. What's happening? It's breathing. It's breathing. It's breathing. deep into darkness. There will be no more stories after this one. What is she doing? Why is she doing this? They're watching. Why doesn't she do coming? She's doing this for him. She wants to rescue him. He's already dead. can feel you coming. Shh. coming. Quiet. Oh, how rude of me. I never told you of the others. You hear them too, right? They've been around ever since the tragedy. That's not quite true. Some are old. Some are new. They've changed. I think the darkness changed them, just like it changed her. Can 
you see them? Okay, it's a small thing, but I like that the, I'm going to call them secondary voices subtitles, are up top. So if you don't want to read them, you can kind of ignore them, but hear the main narrative one down below and see it more clearly. She's afraid. Wouldn't you be? You'd think she would get used to it by now after so many years. But the darkness... It just builds onto itself, growing stronger, towering over her. You might try and ignore it, turn away. But it's always there, just out of sight. Where you're most vulnerable. It's like it knows that just enough light is all you need to see its suffocating power. They can feel you. You know, I have heard she either won an award or should have won awards for her performance in this. But it isn't bravery that drives her. Bravery only means something to those afraid of death. Said it was fear. Runs far. What is she looking at? What is she leaving behind? I know what she's thinking. I hear her thoughts. It's not too late to get into the boat and go back. No one will judge her. No one will ever know. Oh, she heard us. There's no going back. You can't do it. If anyone pushes away a world that conspired to cause so much suffering, there's nothing to go back to and worse to look forward to. Why don't you join us? Maybe you too have a part to play in this story. I feel like it's somewhat appropriate I'm playing this game while thunder is rumbling around me. It's definitely setting the mood. 
Use your eyes. Use Sarah. your eyes. Oops. Come on, low, sir. She can't focus. Why can't she look at this? Take a closer look. Sir. Do not forget my story, Senua. Because your darkness comes from hell, and your fate lies there. They say the burning of a corpse will take you straight to Hella's gate. But gods and the living will follow this path. You must leave the Isles of Orkney across the Eastern Sea and find a road that leads north and down through deep, dark valleys. After nine nights of riding, you will follow a great river and will find a bridge covered in gold. The path to Helheim goes from there, across the river of knives that flows from the dark world of Niflheim. Alright, so we are going with Norse mythology here. Shouldn't be surprised with all those Nordic runes I'm seeing. Okay, so L1 lets us run. R2 seems to focus. So did I... Okay, you just vault over it. You don't need to press a button for it. which lies the halls of hell, the place they call Helheim. There's no doubt about it. The source of the darkness is in Helheim. And the goddess Hela holds his soul there. Her dear beloved. Dearly end. Yeah, not surprised with all the talk of Hell with one L's and Hela figured we were in Helheim or heading there. I do love tales of Norse myth. I don't know them as well as the Greek and Roman myths, but they are pretty interesting and fun. His soul still lives. The bridge to Helheim. I forget its name. She forgets too. But she does remember that only the dead may cross it. That part wasn't so easy to The old fool said there was a hidden path up to it. Let's see, shall we? The tank controls are interesting, although it's not so much tank controls as always looking forward. Ooh, what's this? The Northmen speak of nine worlds. The world of men they call Midgard. Sky gods dwell in Asgard. The gods of Earth, Harvest, Wind, and Sea dwell in Vanaheim. The good elves dwell in Alfheim. The evil ones dwell in Svartalfheim. The mountain giants dwell in Jotunheim. The fire giants dwell in Muspelsheim. Niflheim is the world of ice and darkness. 
Only the dead dwell in Helheim. And that is where you must travel. Don't kill me. I'm not one of them. Don't listen. I was just hiding. I find I live longer that way. Don't listen. Please let the bastards catch me again. Never! Wait. Who are you? It's just a memory. Drew? Again, old friend. I'm listening. The runes seal the gates to hell. Focus your inner eye, and you too will see what's hidden in plain sight. Look really clear. I can see one. Hold it in your mind's eye. Find one like it to open the gate. I don't understand if I'm supposed to be doing something or just holding R2 until it triggers. Let's try letting go. Okay. Get every one of the runes in the circle. They're the only collectible. You get more information about her story before the final area. That's cool. Let's see. Yeah. It's that shape. I feel like I need to get closer and like match it up. Maybe. Hmm, it doesn't seem to be... What happens if we... Oh! Okay. Can I just push on the door? Nope. Ah, okay, I gotta go back and search for that rune. Gotcha. Oh, whoa. Lots of this room. Hmm. It's ah. Look towards the gate. And the gate will open. Interesting. So I had to find that is a shadow. Hmm, the colors change too. The gate is open. Go through the gate. Go through. 
through it. It's dangerous. Follow it. What's behind the gate? Where will it take you? It's not safe. It worked. <laughs> spent six years enslaved in hell, but I watched the Northmen, learnt their ways. I know you did. You listened, when everyone else laughed. My people bear the heavy price. Carry my stories with you, and together we will make the Northmen feel our fury. You see the floating runes, you're close to finding it. They're hidden in shadow structures in your halls. Okay, that kind of makes sense. It gives you a way of, you know, kind of a clue, but not outright telling you. She wants to try to make them go away. Pretend they weren't real. But what good is that? When we are always here. is ruled by the giantess, Hela, daughter of Loki. The gods feared her bloodline, bad on her mother's side and yet much worse on her father's. So, as a child, the Allfather cast her down into Helheim and gave her power over those who die of sickness, age, hardship and self-slaughter. In all of the nine worlds, only Hela can resurrect the dead. To Hela, your Dillion was sacrificed, and with her you must bargain. Interesting. Hmm. Gotta get down there. of Hela herself, the half-rotten goddess that rules over Helheim. Whatever horrors lie behind that door, she must find him.
Okay, that's creepy. A vision of what's to come. Poor Senua. The darkness does not bargain. It does not reason. It is rot. And now it has taken hold. It will spread towards her head, the seed of the soul, until there is nothing left of her. All of her suffering will have been for nothing. It's just a matter of time. Dark rot will grow each time you fail. If the rot reaches Senua's head, her quest is over. And all progress will be lost. Hmm. Interesting. It implies that there's a certain limit to how many times you can die. The hardest battles are fought in the mind. That is what Dillian taught her. With every defeat, the dark rot will grow and soon it will take her soul. But for now, at least, she still has control of her mind. And she will fulfill her vow. Whatever the cost. No, cert. Fell Robin, I'm not actually familiar with. It won't open. Yeah, that was kind of the impression I got. You know, life's mechanic. She has to fight two gods. The Northmen say that in the beginning there was nothing but darkness. Bitter cold to the north, fiery hot to the south. They say the cold formed ice, 
which melted from the sparks from the south. The power of the darkness gave life to the dripping ice, and the first giant was born, and was named Emir. The ice continued to drip, and the power of the void gave life to it, and it became a cow whose milk fed the giant. That's right, a cow, but you weren't expecting that. Hmm. I think I'm going to start with this one. Why not? answered. He comes from a land older than mankind, and the Northmen call upon his flaming sword to raise their enemies to the ground. Find him, Senua, and spill his blood. They are definitely going for a Liam Neeson vibe with that voice acting, and I don't she mind. She found a wretched old fool on her way back from the wilds. Outcast. He was badly burnt all over. She took pity on him, for he was not long for this world. Like her, who he spoke of his own darkness. The Northmen. Kind of looks like there's a face behind the waterfall there. I'm gonna go check it out. Oh, yeah, there's absolutely a face there. Senua. We each walk these lands gazing towards different horizons, some of us further than others. Your father cannot see what you see, but there is nothing wrong with seeing the world the way you do. Hmm. Interesting. Seems this game delights in the hidden in plain sight motif. I like that. So if I'm right, it seems R1 is blocked, square is a quick attack, triangle's a heavier attack, circle's a kick, and X is a dodge. Ooh, there's a parry mechanic, apparently. Without taking a hit, that was good. I can still smell it. The sweet, sickly stench of burning human flesh. <laughs> and I still hear their cries carried in the wind. You hear them too, Senos? Yes, I heard their screams. And I still hear them now. All right. One of these. It's like one of these almost crucifixy looking things is probably part of this rune. Let's see. Really does. A lot of mental illnesses include paranoia, which causes people to see in plain sight what isn't actually there. Makes sense. Uh, let's see. I'm 
sure I've got the right idea. I just need to find the right angle. Aha! There's a nice small one here. Hmm. Get it from here. Got it. Now, that one. That looks like an N and an H halfway between them. Now that I know what to do, I like that mechanic. Let's see, are we getting closer this way? Are we going completely the wrong way? Oh, the colors disappeared, so I think I must have gone the wrong way. Let's go back over here. Definitely part of it. Ah, let me approach it from above. Got it. Went Bell Robin first. You, my sister friend, all went Cert first. Yeah, I went towards Cert first because that was the first one to light up. So it was indicating, you know, in the first one they talked about, you may just desire to go left before right. Like how people sometimes always deliberately put left foot forward first. He's done with this. Lands. I knew enough of their tongue to beg for mercy, and they took me as a slave. I wish now that they had slaughtered me like the others. And I rode their storm of fire, death, slavery to many lives. This darkness you speak of? <laughs> I know it well. And I'm still here to fight it. All right. Well, I have to take a brief intermission break. I will be right back. Let's make sure. Let's see here. All right. I shouldn't be long, but I'll be back in just a minute.
and I'm back so that wasn't too long let's head forward and see what awaits us as we head toward the Fire Lord Cert it's a creepy game got vaguely horror vibes but not as much as I was expecting if I'm being honest I don't know maybe it'll be more later I do really like the art style <laughs> had to take the dogs out but yes quite a bit I always love spending time with the pups who are now crashed beside me all right is either really forgiving or I'm getting good at it. Ooh. I say that and then I mess one up. I do like having them send two at once. That was a nice way to up the ante with that. Sacrifice, great. Find the fire, Senua, to follow the path to Surt. Let's see, I came up that way, so let's go toward the fire. Interesting. Ah, uh, well, that is understandable why this would be a little harder. I didn't much care for the walking across the beam up in, you know, the height because I have acrophobia. You mustn't look away from the horrors it does offer. Because you cannot overcome suffering if you refuse to look at it. What's happening? Is the fire gone? Where's it gone? The fire has disappeared. The pyre. Sert. Sert is through there. For you. He's waiting for her. He can't get through. How will she get through? She'll need to find another way. Truth. I had a feeling there was one of these over here. The Northmen tell this story. Before the Earth was created, there was a world called Muspa. Because it was in the south, it was bright and hot, flaming, burning. Sparks that flew out from Muspa became the stars. Other sparks melted ice in the frozen world of Niflheim, creating the body of the first giant, Ymir. Muspa is one of the nine worlds and is now the land of the fire giants and people from elsewhere cannot endure a journey there honestly i don't know what it says about me but the of the nine worlds the one i always liked the most was vanaheim more peaceful not as warlike but that's probably just a bit of me And oh look, it's getting darker. Uh oh. It's too far. She'll never find it. She'll never make her way back. She needs to remember the way back. What happens when she finds it? The money. Everything will burn. Concentrate. Concentrate on where you're going. She needs to remember the path. Everything will burn. Then how will she find the way back? <laughs> she won't. <laughs> she won't be able to tell. The Northmen say that the defender of Muspel 
is called Surt, the foremost of the fire giants. His name means the Black One, because he is like something burnt. The Northmen believe that he sits at the border of Muspel with his flaming sword, and at the end of the world he will leave his post. He will travel to Asgard and Midgard, waging war against all the gods. He will be victorious, and then burn the whole world with fire. See, can I climb up this? No. <laughs> Honestly, Poseidon is pretty cool. I may be a little biased. I do love the Percy Jackson books, though Annabeth is definitely best character. Hmm. The Northmen made fire sacrifices, burning slaves like me to reveal the path to Surt. I searched for meaning in their suffering, in their eyes. But they just screamed like helpless pigs. Oh dear. Alright, see if we can find our way back. doesn't want us to take the same path back. So we're going this way. Man, Poseidon would be real helpful right about now. Get some water in here. Senua. I asked the gods for mercy, all of them, even theirs. None answered. In the end, I set myself free. Defy the gods, Senua. Find your own path, like I find mine. My gods abandoned me. I am alone. Another door. Two puzzles tied together. All right, so we have a black widow on the, the side and an R. Worship the devourers, insatiable gods of darkness. I come from Eren, Senua, where I once followed my own gods, the Tuatha de Danann. Why did you abandon your gods, Senua? I was a man of knowledge, not a warrior. To survive, I did things. Bad things. Like you, Cinema. The man I once was has died. And when that happens, even gods you worship can die with you. Hmm. Let's see. Where it's tied to this, maybe. Let me look around.
Hmm. Almost like that. Hmm. What are you doing? Strange puppies. Let me try looking at it from... Nope, that's disappearing. Definitely something over this way. Come back to this. Let me see. Yep, I'm going to come back. Let's see if I can find the other one. I have looped. Did not expect that. Okay. say something with these trees. Probably with the X from not from this side. Haha. Think. There we go. That one wasn't too bad. Definitely has something to do with over here. Okay. Let's hang on just a moment. What are you doing? Hi. Do you need some attention? Is that what you need? Do you need attention? I'm sorry, I'm neglecting you. Yes, hi. Definitely seems like it's supposed to be something over here. I would think I need to go this way, but when I get this far over, it disappears. So I don't think it's that. Oh, hello. Somehow I missed this. Well, let's listen to this first. The Northmen believe that the world will be destroyed someday. They call it Ragnarok, the destiny of the gods. Asgard will be attacked by Surt and the fire giants. A monstrous wolf will swallow the sun, and the gods will fight in vain against their enemies. There is nothing they can do to prevent it. But Odin ever seeks knowledge and magic, hoping, hoping to find a way to postpone that dark day. So 
swear it's somehow tied to this, but apparently not. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, I feel ya. I feel like I'm missing something obvious. I see it. I thought that was just runes playing around me. I didn't realize that was burn marks on the ground. Here I am looking up. And I need to be looking down. I was so close to it when I was up here looking here and I just didn't look to the right. Then I hopped down and spent quite a while in the almost right position. I like these type of puzzles. It feels a little bit like what some of the Witness tried to do, except dear god the Witness definitely hated its players. <laughs> I love perception puzzles. They're so hard to do right and make them a good balance between easy and hard. But man, when they're done well, they're so good. And now let's do the other kind of puzzle where you flee from fire, your favorite. Apparently that was a death. Maybe I didn't control it well enough to get across. By the way, how is the volume level with the game versus my voice and all that? <laughs> you got it. I will make sure not to turn it up during the fire sections. 
Okay, so yeah, I do control myself more with the left to right there. Totally didn't realize that I was falling because of that. Oh, great. Yeah, we gotta fight guys in the fire. Not expecting a back attack there. Let's get out of here. You say your world has collapsed. Good. Let it collapse and have the courage to shed your tears. Raise your world to the ground. My world is dead. Only then, as with a newborn, will you see the world anew. No. I see nothing now. It's interesting how they're ramping it up a little bit. I like the balance they're doing. Ninja Theory does some good games. I'm really happy with this. Can I? Oh, I want to interact with these. And one second. I'm thinking the first stream might be good to end after cert. Do you know how much longer I have until I get to cert? Oh, I got three to find. All right. Tell me truth. How did you escape your darkness? Once I found my purpose, I was no longer enslaved to the suffering I had to endure to reach it. Unclouded by fear, I could see it clearly in others. Find the fire, said so even my captors. They follow the path of the desert. Desert. fire of Cert. And so, during one raid, I took my chance and ran. <laughs> ran into the fire. <laughs> they left me for dead. Maybe they were right. To... But here I am. Free. Closer than you think, further than you'd hope. I wouldn't have made it without you. All right, that one worked well. Can I use it for this too? <laughs> no, I didn't think so. This one is close. There it is. Nice. That one kind of fell into my lap. 
Now we need the last one. She's probably... Let's see, we haven't gone down here. Oh, no, this is where we came from. Okay, so that's not the right way. Well, let's put it this way. Do you think I am less than half an hour from CERT? Ooh, rune. The Northmen say that at Ragnarok, the sons of Muspel will travel to battle in the ship called <laughs> Nagelfar, the corpse ship. And when the sons of Muspel leave the ship and ride to battle, it will be as though the sky had split open, and Surt will lead them. Wherever he goes, flame will erupt before him, and fires will burn behind him. That's not exactly the legend I heard. I heard it was Nagelfar was the ship of nails, literally grown from toenails of the dead. Yeah, still, it applies. <laughs> All right, so this one. There's a lot of beams in here that it could apply to. But I feel like there's going to be something very specific it wants me to see. Oh, yeah. Definitely wants me over here. Haha. -ha. Just gotta get the right angle on it. There we go. Nice, finding something through the absence. Puzzle 101. I know, just you're looking for something physical, you're not looking for a gap, which I kind of like that. I will say, I'm looking forward to the guy who's, like, Master of Illusions. I feel like if they do anything, you know, remotely mind-trippy, which I think this game can do, I'm gonna like that section. Or hate it! Maybe even a bit of both. Senua, if I can survive the fire of Surt and escape my darkness, then so can you. still going on, which tells me we're at cert. Better not have counted as one of my deaths. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. This darkness takes everything. Everyone. So, are you sure you want to do this? We can fight this together. 
together, side by side. You always do. This is my battle. I have to face it alone, away from you. Where will you go? I don't know. Better than being a sucker for a bad love story. I know lots of people like that. You know that. Just, just promise me that you will come back to me. I want you to say it. I want you to say it. back to you. I promise. Come on. Spill the blood of circus and take his mark. And I will change you from the other world and forever be your dead. You! Destroy everything, everyone, but not me. Fight me now. Wonder if I can parry him. Nope, I don't want to parry that. Definitely learning dodging is very important in this battle. Don't give up. Darn it. Apparently I probably needed to mash buttons more to get back up sooner. Alright, let's try this again. Okay, that one I need to dodge back. which button it is but when you have a glowy blue light on your hip you can focus slow everything down hmm good to know ah that's what they're talking about So I see. Didn't even think that the focus might be a combat mechanic, and I like that. Did we do it? I think we do it. And we don't even have the Sword of Summer. So it goes. But 
to reform. And in the end, we all fall. Even the gods have their time. Yet we still go on. Extinguished. That was a fun fight. I quite enjoyed that. And I think that's going to be where we're going to leave off this stream. It feels like a good stopping point. Definitely going to pick this back up next Monday. I'm enjoying it so far. Very curious to see what's coming next. And I'm really looking forward to Val Ravin's section. But... Uh, like I said, I like it. We shall see what comes in the future. I am purposely keeping myself as blind as possible uh, for this game, and I'm intrigued. With that said, let me see if I can find a raid target. You know what? I think let's raid our old buddy Jack, Toxic Sex Eternity. And as always, I just have to say. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.